welcome back to the channel. I have this odd feeling that today is gonna be a really good day. I don't know why. Maybe because of the amounts of boxes that are in the back of the truck right now. I'm in the race truck. I uh, just went and picked up some boxes from the office. What's the surprise here with some nice little gifts here. I'm just pulling back up to the shop from the office where I had to go pick up these boxes. Harry, I come bearing gifts. I brought gifts. I think Justin's about to pull up too. I can hear his bike. Oh, he came in the bike today? Yeah, he rode the bike today. Oh, look at that be it. Dang. Do a burnout. <laughs> I got some surprises. Yeah. Boom. What's up? What's up? That's a lot of stuff, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Harry's been mocking up this morning how to how to make our coils mount to the top of the engine. I was telling him we can get two pieces of all thread, run it through the top, two nuts on this side, and on the bottom of this plate, all thread, two nuts on that side, so it'll hold it onto the plate. Hold it down, we'll secure the whole plate to the top of the uh, valve cover. Ooh, we got another little present too that'll make that real easy to make. Yeah, big true. As you guys probably know from the last few videos, we did blow up the original 1.6 that came in this car because we had this new engine that we needed to secure for this car. This is a 1.8 NB Miata engine, which is actually 10 years newer than the car itself. We're working on getting this wired in as you guys saw in the last video update on the Miata But we did get the entire engine installed into the car Which is pretty cool as well as the transmission which is actually really neat because this is a six-speed transmission Oops instead of the five-speed really weak transmission that comes in the car the six-speed is almost bulletproof in these cars So that's great We needed to have this engine and transmission combo because we needed to be able to support a lot of power Which is what today's video topic is pretty much about and that's what's in the back of the truck over here before we start opening these though I do want to mention that every single thing in the boxes today are all from fly Miata and I could not be more happy to be working with them seriously guys if you have anything Miata related go check them out they have helped us out so so much in the last few weeks I cannot express how grateful I am for these guys right here completely unboxed and everything which is cool but unfortunately we are gonna probably have to pull the engine out of the car let me let me explain the issue with this is that we're gonna have to pull the engine back out because we've got to drill a feed line into the oil pan we're gonna have to pull the oil pan out that way we can get all the metal shavings out of there and everything like that which is gonna be kind of a pain being that we just got this all installed we just got the wires all hooked up and we were planning on starting it up hopefully later today that sucks check it out though we did get the fly Miata banner up on the wall it looks pretty cool we've got a bunch a bunch a bunch of banners all over the shop now they're starting to build up but it's starting to look good oh look it's poe hola. hola hey you want to come see something cool yeah i do yeah what are we looking at dude their bike looks sick bro that's my new bike it's your new bike it's my new bicycle it's sick bro come uh come take a look come take a look come take a look we just got it all opened up bro, what? <laughs> it's so cute. i know look how cool what? that's awesome what exhaust manifold to the terribly it's a Garrett. This goes down to the downpipe. Yep, it's his a Garrett. That's awesome. look how much stuff. Watch, hang on. Move your move your helmet real fast. You see how much stuff there is involved in this install? Look at our little intercooler. It's such a small car that like it looks tiny, but if you think about it on that little tiny car, that's, that's gonna, gonna be, be pushing it because it's yeah, it's gonna be so compact. Look cool. at all the stuff though for this kit. We've got the intercooler piping, all that stuff. Heck yeah, that's freaking sweet. This turbo is freaking awesome. Yeah, I know. Look at our little filter. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna put it on just like that. That's how they want it on. Yeah. This is gonna be quite the ride, I feel like, for the next few videos getting this thing installed. Harry, what do you think? I can do it. 
Huh? I think I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> ready for your first snow car. No, I don't think so. I forgot about that. This is going to be my first turbo car that I've ever had. This is going to be cool. So all in all, though, we've got a very, very completed kit here. This is the gauge pillar or the pillar, a pillar, whatever for the gauges to be put in. That's pretty cool. We've got, I believe, a, I think this is for an air filter yeah, cover, right? To keep the water out. Yeah, air box to keep the filter in. Out. Just for what then? It's to keep the heat away from the engine and turbo off of this so it's cooler air, intake air. It just flows better. It makes more power. It sounds weird, but it makes more power. All the powers. It's a Harryism. It's a Harryism, yep. Take horse pressure. Pop up headlights. Horse pressures. I think I could honestly not even put this in the car. We could just hang it from the shop just to look at. <laughs> it's a NOS going in the car. <laughs> look how pretty it is though. It's like. That's it a really, really clean if it turbo. Said, like Garrett by Fly Me Auto. <laughs> that would've been dope. Cause they put Fly Me Auto on everything else. Yeah, there is Fly Me Auto on everything. Yeah. All right, yeah. here, stick it back in that bag real quick. Oh, let's set this right here. Pick? There is a lot of piping and stuff. Oh, Two exhaust okay. pipes, down pipe. Should we run this thing out, Harry? Should we run it out to the back of the car with an, with an actual exhaust, Sounds or should we do better. Hoon and just run it straight out the hood? Whoa, with this manifold. Mm -hmm. The way the turn down, it turned down. So out of the fender then? <laughs> <laughs> just turned it upside down. It sounds really good coming it, all the way back. Yeah, it would. I was just it's trying to find a way to use our new plasma cutter, but that's fine too, I guess. Well, we'll just have to get a whole cat back exhaust. We can use the plasma cutter. I guess you'll have to get us an exhaust now. You know, <laughs> that's what we've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> we could use some exhaust. Okay. We'll just run it open, open header for now. All, all we need to do really is just a straight pipe, mm -hmm. like straight pipe all the way. It'll be nice so pipe. loud. It's well, going to sound so good. Car, turbo cars don't yeah. need exhaust. That's true. Actually, it doesn't straight really pipe. because the turbo actually works similar to a muffler. It keeps it a little bit quiet. Well, actually a lot of bit quiet. Yeah. Have you ever heard a turbo car with a muffler on it? They're yeah. so quiet. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I forgot your car. Oh, They're so quiet. We can't cut holes with a plasma cutter without a plasma cutter. That is true. Luckily, <laughs> these wood. <laughs> <laughs> this was something that we did not uh, intend to do today, but since we're already talking about it, we might as well go ahead and show you guys in on our next sponsorship of the day. Fly Miata, huge thanks to these guys once again for sending over this entire turbo kit. Seriously, it's going to be a wild ride with this little car for the next few days, I'm telling you. This is going to be one hell of a Miata by the time that we're done with it, and we're only getting halfway through the surprises that are coming for the car. So trust me, this is going to be really, really cool whenever it gets there and gets done and everything. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna set it on our engine pallet, I guess. Set as many of the turbo parts. This is gonna be a really, really involved install. I'm excited. I have absolutely never, ever installed a turbo kit. I know the concept of how they work, but I have never installed one. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting learning process. Here, you know how to install a turbo? How many turbos you installed? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Every single one. Every single one. And fat. Man, you ain't getting that Dude, fat. Dude, I'm getting fat, bro. You ain't getting fat. Women like fat, man, now. Dad bods are the new thing, apparently. You're good. Dad bods are in. Yeah. Ask Quo. I ain't trying to get a dad, dad bod, though, bro. I'm too young. What you mean you ain't trying to? You already got one. Sort of there, but I'm not there yet. Someone told me dad bods were where it's at, so I stopped uh, trying to care Do about it. Do I have it. the honors? Do I have the honors? Go ahead. Open it up. Let me set this down first. <laughs> Oh, Justin, you get to open up the deck half. No. I'm gonna cry. No. It's so sweet. No. Come on, no. come open it. Don't be a poon. Versa Cut 60 Plasma Cutter. The assembly and operation instructions. Look at our trash pile. <laughs> it's building up today. Oh, yeah. Dang. What is that thing gonna make? What is it gonna make? It's gonna make freaking bracket. What bracket? The bracket I made. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The bracket make. for our coils. Every, That's right. Every, every, it is gonna make everything. <laughs> yep, over. that is true. We're gonna need that to cut some fenders instead of a sawzall like I used last time. Oh, this is a helmet. You hold a stick and you attach it to a oh, yeah. stick and you hold it up Those like this. Suck. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That thing, that's nice. So low. people, if you're doing work, someone can watch you do it. Yeah. But that's what they give you if you don't have a mask. I'm gonna slowly start learning how this whole area of expertise works. So y'all gonna have to teach me. <laughs> Ooh. It's so freaking nice. Nice ray gun. Dude. That's the ray gun that Dylan was talking about. How many coins did that cost? This was like did you get that out of the 45,000 coins. 45. <laughs> yeah, he got it out of the mystery box for sure. Dang. This plasma cutter 
Cuts through how how many inches of steel? Seven eighths. Seven eighths. That is seven eighths. Seven to eight That's inches. Ridiculous. No, not seven to eight. <laughs> oh my god. No, this thing will clearly cut through seven eighths inch. Seven to eight inches. No. <laughs> That's crazy. That would be nuts though. Imagine like imagine like seven inches of steel and you're just like just cutting through it. No, but really though, seven eighths inch steel is pretty damn thick. And this plasma cutter here from Eastwood will cut completely through it. Like I, I like how it has that little guard on it to where you can't touch it. Yeah, that's freaking yeah, that's nice. That's probably good. So that way you can't just, set it on anything. If it'll cut through 78 inches of steel, I can't imagine how many. You would hate to burn yourself, Harry. Would you like a welding oh, jacket? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. A custom, welding jacket? Custom tailored. Okay. Hey, give me that XL. Oh, oh. Both. Oh. <laughs> Even though I'm a large, I'll that's take the dad bod XL. version right there. Dad bod. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways though, check this thing out though guys. Eastwood went ahead and sent over this entire plasma cutter here. This is going to be able to cut through basically anything that we're going to need. We don't need a cutting torch anymore. Plasma cutter is seriously the way to go. We're going to need this in the next few days, trust me. Especially on that car quite a bit. There's more! Whoa! There's right, more? And with these, I see you with these right here, we'll no longer catch on fire. Like Yeah, I forgot about that. Poe was grinding and caught his whole ass on fire. <laughs> Damn, y'all look so professional. Stand together. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. Look at y'all. Six media oh. is at 9,100 uh, hey, followers, you, so we need to get it to 10K. Can you take a picture? I, too. I guess so. This is like I'm extra. Sure. Justin, open up our new device here. I wonder what it is. Hmm. A MIG 250, 250 amp welder. I don't know why that's my go-to song for everything. Because Europe is life. Europe is life. Hey, what's their Instagram? Eastwood. Goo dang. Oh damn, that's a freaking. This is all of our connections. From yeah, that's one ten to and one another one. Oh, is it really? Yeah. That's a one ten to two twenty adapter. Yeah, the welder will weld on one ten. But what? It won't weld as thick, so weld. We've got a two twenty connection coming very soon. We've gonna. I think it's gonna go right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's gonna come down to right here. We're gonna have two twenty right here. So this entire area right here is basically gonna be our welding zone. So we're gonna have the plasma cutter and welder set up, hopefully right here. Dang. It holds all the power. That is crazy. Look at that. What you know about Gert? Huh? Harry, shut up. <laughs> Bam. You know what? What? That's heavy. It's gonna be tough to lug around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's one more box. <laughs> a wise man once said that you could make anything work with a cutter and a welder. We now have a welder and also a cutter. Does that mean that we can make anything? Yep. Can we make tube chassis go karts with Jigsaw 1000 engines? Yep. Can we make yachts? Drift carts. Can we make tube Roll chassis? Drift carts. Or can we make roll bars? I want to have a Jigsaw tube chassis go kart battle. I will. Uh, do I have to weld it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's gonna weld it for me. F you, Poe. <laughs> I'll weld my own. You okay. Can have either me or Harry or Justin weld yours. Okay. Uh, that would be awesome to have two twin. All right, Harry. Things. We're not using the turbo for the Miata anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Is this where the that's spool of wire goes? Manifold. That's not your <laughs> exhaust manifold. <laughs> This is your ECU. Oh, that's Dude, y'all need to teach me all about welders and stuff because I'm I'm uh, illiterate to that. I went to a university, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, uh, this is a long block. That's so, your flux capacitor. That? Is that a MIG TIG and plasma welding cart? Welding cart. Oh my god. Are we going to be able to store the. Launch. We're going to store something trip. down there. You have to don't we have something to store down there? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, look. There it is. Check that out too. What? Degree auto. Yeah, oh, that's is. auto darkening. 180 degree auto darkening welding mask? That is sick. We're going to definitely need wire. We're definitely going to need a bottle, correct? Yes. So we're going to have to lease a bottle, shield gas, um, wire. We have everything else, I think, huh? They did send some. Oh, we got some extra tips. Hell yeah. Okay. Poe, you have a challenge for the day. Anyways, though, guys, check this out. Seriously, Eastwood has, is, I, I don't, they have helped out quite a ton today. They have sent over a 250 amp welder, which is going to be awesome. It is a MIG welder. We're going to work on getting a TIG welder later on, but it's not a big deal for right now. For what we're going to be doing in the near future, a MIG is going to be perfectly fine. We've also got this plasma cutter here. We do have a rolling car that's going to need to be assembled as well as this nice, super, super nice 180 degree welding mask. It's going to be seriously sweet. So anyways, guys, there you have it. We have our entire turbo kit unboxed. We are ready to install this thing over the next few days. It's going to take a little bit of time, though. Like I said, we're going to have to pull the engine back out, which is 
quite unfortunate. Poe, I think you called that. Didn't you tell us that we shouldn't have put it yeah, in? I told you you shouldn't have put the engine in before the <laughs> kid. You're like, let's do it now. And I was like, yeah, that's not Poe was definitely thing. right. We definitely should not have put it in, but we did it. So we're going to have to backtrack quite a bit and get this engine back out. That way we can take the oil pan off, like I said, drill a hole through the oil pan, get the shavings cleaned out. That way we have a feed line to the turbo, all that good stuff. Other than that, though, the turbo kit should be a breeze to install. There's a lot, a lot of room in this engine bay because it is such a small engine in a giant engine bay. But uh, after we're done with it, this turbo kit is probably capable of putting out quite a bit more power than this little Miata is ready for. Something to remember also, do not forget that this Miata weighs sub 2,000 pounds as how it sits right now with the engine and everything in it. I know it doesn't sound crazy, but to have three or so, 350 horsepower at the wheel in this car that does not weigh anything, it is seriously going to be moving, moving. I know that my car, yeah, the Mustang, it makes a lot of power, it does makes 900 and probably 50 or 60 or so at the wheel now um, with the new setup and even now that car is not that i mean it's fast yeah but it does weigh 4,000 pounds almost it weighs probably about 3750 with me in it that's a lot a lot of weight whenever this car is not going to weigh anything close to that literally half of that and have a good bit of horsepower backing it so it's going to be a pretty damn fast car if you can think about it power to weight ratio wise it's going to be crazy also guys in the next videos we're going to have new fenders we're going to have a bunch of new stuff coming in to be able to unbox and show you guys trust me you're not going to want to miss it we've got an entire body kit coming in that i cannot tell you guys about but uh you can take your guesses we still need to find a color to wrap it we still got a lot of stuff to do on this car but i promise you this thing is going to go through a complete transformation it is about to be the craziest little miata on the internet at least is what we hope for so anyways guys one more thanks to flying miata they have seriously helped out so much over the last few weeks that i cannot even express like i said i seriously appreciate them with everything in me cannot wait they have like i'm telling you they have seriously made my dreams come true i've always wanted to have a turbo car i've always wanted to have a fast miata i've never had the chance to because i've never been in the position to where i could pull it off now we're gonna be able to do it and it's gonna be seriously cool so i cannot wait i'm so glad that you guys are here to be able to witness all this stuff going down it's gonna be a crazy next few weeks for sure so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time